So if the only added sugar that you had was the occasional stolen piece of Halloween candy from a kid or a vacation meal ice cream or maybe a little bit of maple syrup on top of the pancake, if that's all we did, we'd probably be fine. I mean, that's for the most part, natural forms of sugar, a few treats now and then is probably how our parents or our grandparents did it. And their pants fit way better than ours. But added sugar is in everything and it has devastating effects on your body. I'm gonna show you exactly what it does do to the body to hopefully sway you in a direction of way less added sugar inside of your life. Also to know the warning signs of, hey, you've just done way too much damage here. We gotta get serious about doing a sugar fast. Let's go. A lot of times we don't even know we're doing this. It's just added into so many foods on the inside of the grocery store. It's not like why I like to stay to the outside of the grocery store, but on average you consume 77 grams of added sugar every single day. So what it's not including, I'm not even talking about yet, are the sugars that we do get from certain foods like the lactose in dairy or the fructose that's found in fruit. Some of these naturally occurring sugars, we're not even talking about those and excluding them. And so if you do find later in this video that you do have a problem with sugar and it is causing these damaging warning signs, you're not only gonna wanna trim back and cut out the added sugar, but you're probably gonna wanna trim out the natural ones as well. Although I don't have a problem with honey or a Granny Smith apple or a regular apple or an orange or pineapple, or even having some dairy in your life. But if you've overdone it to the point where you are creating these warning signs and this damage, it all has to go in order to undo the added sugar devastation that happens inside of your body. Now, the reason I'm okay if you don't have these symptoms with doing some fruit, doing some honey, doing some maple syrup, um, you know, having a little bit of dairy here and there, is oftentimes those things will come with naturally occurring fibers, especially fruit, that are gonna help negate the amount of sugar that's actually absorbed into your system. So it doesn't have that glycemic, insulin spiking, liver damaging, fat storage effect that pure sugar does inside of the body. So once you right the ship, or if you have not overdone yourself, you can still enjoy some of these naturally occurring sugars, but the added sugar's gotta go. So if you do have these warning signs, I'm gonna point out in a couple minutes right here on this video, here's what starts to happen to your body. The added sugar, and if you have a problem with it, starts to cause belly fat and storage of fat inside of your system. Now, why this is a problem is oftentimes it's high fructose corn syrup that gets us in trouble with added sugars. That within 24 hours begins to produce triglycerides in your body. Yes, the fatty substance that floats around in your blood that you get measured when you have your cholesterol measured comes from added sugar, not fat and cholesterol. What happens is you take in high doses of high fructose corn syrup or fructose in general, your body says, what are we gonna do with all this excess consumption of sugar? So it starts combining it with fat molecules to send it off to be stored right around the midsection and even more toxic right around your organs. In fact, one study that was done over eight weeks fed people glucose and fructose, same amount of sugar levels, and watched what their weight gain was and what their impact was on their body and on their health. Both gained significant amounts of weight, but the fructose group had higher amounts of pure belly fat. And that equates oftentimes to liver fat and organ fat. So this stuff is dangerous. And why they're finding this happen is Princeton researchers found that Fructose is one of the primary obesogens. An obesogen is an element that creates obesity and every type of animal that they feed high amounts of fructose in their diet to ends up getting fat. Even when they fed them high doses of pure fat or other types of nutrients, fructose did it better than any other food. It creates belly fat and obesity. So if you're struggling with that, you might have a problem with these added sugars. I'm gonna get to the symptoms in a moment, but let's go to number two. Now added sugars not only have all these negative effects on your organs as we're gonna keep covering, but it has another weird side effect. Studies have proven that added sugar actually makes you decrease physical activity. So now not only are you eating the most obese forming nutrient and, and food inside of your body, you're also exercising less. University of Illinois study did this and they actually fed mice a standard American diet and one that was strong in added sugars. And even when they varied the calorie amounts, if the fructose and the added sugar amount was high, the mice were less active. It makes you be more lazy. So it's adding fat and you're not burning it. 
Number three is going to be more obvious, but it hits 50 to 100 million Americans every single year. And diabetes, eating added sugars is one of the primary driving forces of type 2 diabetes, which means if you can lifestyle your way into this condition, you can absolutely lifestyle your way out of it. I've seen so many people overcome type 2 diabetes and a lot of people that have improved type 1 diabetes by controlling one thing, added sugar. In fact, fructose is probably to blame around the world for record-setting numbers of this dietary disease. You can beat it, but added sugars have to get under control. Number four, added sugar damages the brain, makes you more depressed. You probably felt this after a big sugary meal. One, you feel bad because you probably made a mistake or fell off the wagon or ate something you know you shouldn't, but two, it physically damages your brain and actually reduces its plasticity which is that molding and adapting and creating new pathways and helping you to learn and remember things, that goes down the more fructose that you eat. On top of that, high sugar diets and high added sugar diets actually decrease the compounds in your brain that are responsible for protecting you against Alzheimer's. So there's this correlation that's starting to form between the amount of sugar that you eat diabetes being formed, depression happening, which leads to dementia Alzheimer's. In fact, Alzheimer's and dementia is being referred to as type three diabetes now. And prominent studies recently have linked the three together that the second you eat lots of added sugar, you actually make your brain dumber. And then over time, it's leading right down a path of dementia and Alzheimer's, which I watched my grandmother suffer with, not a pleasant disease. So for women, this is so important. In fact, in 2015, a study on females postmenopausal showed that the higher amount of added sugar in the diet, the more depression occurred. And those that were focused more on fruits and veggies and clean eating and non-added sugars, way better mental capacity, way happier in life. How fast does this start to happen? Well, research showed in a thousand seniors that those that ate these simple carbohydrates, these simple added sugars, within a three to seven year period of time, a diet high in those things led directly to a decline in cognitive function and closer to dementia Alzheimer's. Number five, impacted and took out my grandfather and impacted and took out my dad. Sugars and added sugar increase heart disease. In fact, those that have a diet that's made up of 25% added sugars in these simple carbohydrates are more than twice as likely to die from heart disease. That's right out of the Journal of American Medical Association and one out of 10 of us fall directly into that category. So no wonder heart disease is exploding in the world. So heart disease is up if it's sugar-sweetened beverages, sodas, pop, grain-based desserts and pastries. Now that's gonna include the muffins you have in the morning or the cookies and cake you have in the afternoon or evening. Fruit juice, OJ, apple juice, daily desserts like ice cream or things of that nature, and then candy. Those are the huge contributing factors straight line to heart disease. Even teenagers, according to the Journal of Nutrition, by having a diet high in these sugary drinks, a diet high in candy is already showing signs of clogging in the artery and cardiovascular risk. Number six, right along the heart connection, it raises your blood pressure. For every sugary drink you drink, an 8% increased risk of hypertension. Because taking in all this added sugar stimulates the sympathetic nervous system. Now, I have a video um, I can put right on this page for you in the description to show you how to lower your sympathetic nervous response and increase your parasympathetic nervous response. What this system does, those two nervous systems control your blood pressure for going up and down. The more sugar you eat, the more stimulated the sympathetic nervous system is, the higher your blood pressure goes. So to quickly reduce that, you can do it in a minute a day. One, stop eating sugar, but two, by doing the simple breathing exercise, you can check that video out in the description. Finally, number seven, it causes your skin to sag. It makes you look and appear older. Now, collagen, elastin, these are the compounds in our body to help keep skin tighter and more younger looking, but when added sugar goes into the diet and insulin spikes, it takes up the place and occupies the amino acids that are used to build the collagen and keep our skin and our lastin strong and where it's supposed to be. So as those compounds are tied up and used up, the skin gets more saggy because it doesn't have the nutrients that it needs. So basically a study by clinical dermatology says eating sugar is one of the worst things you can have for your skin. 
So those are the obvious warning signs that if you are struggling with some of those issues, it might be time to completely give up any kind of added sugar. And I would say all types of sugar and put yourself on a sugar fast. However, if you have a couple of these key factors right here, it is absolutely time to take action on your health so you don't head down the road of diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, dementia, depression. So here's the ones we really wanna look at. Number one, obviously blood tests. You can look at fasting insulin levels blood glucose levels, and A1C levels. If any of those three are off, it's time to get them under control. Your shorter term response is gonna be your blood sugar. We wanna see that below 100. Your longer term response is gonna be A1C. That needs to be typically below 5.5 to not put you in that diabetes range. But the one you may wanna monitor even more is fasting insulin. If insulin's under control, you're shuttling the glucose and the sugar where it needs to go, properly storing it, and you're gonna have your metabolism under control, the metabolism isn't gonna be broken. Those three tests are very important to understand, do you have an added sugar problem? Okay, so you got the warning signs of the conditions that we talked about above. You got the blood tests that are showing it to you, but what about just simple day-to-day -day warning signs that sugars might be getting out of control? Pay attention to your thirst. If you're having a lot of thirst, then that is your body trying to respond for the increased amount of insulin and glucose that's in your blood. It's trying to flush that sugar out of you so it gets thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. If it's having an inability to keep up with that, or if you're overdoing it, you're gonna find yourself very, very thirsty. Now I can uh, acknowledge this a few times after some really big meals, like a Thanksgiving meal or some kind of feast, it almost feels like I can't get enough water in me, but you're so full, but you're trying to get the water in or you're really thirsty still, but you just can't balance it out. That's the body trying to get rid of all that extra fructose, glucose, and insulin that's spiking up in the bloodstream. So if you are experiencing regular thirst, yet you're drinking water, it might be time to really take some action against the added sugars inside of your system. Next is how much you're going to the bathroom. The kidneys are trying to get rid of the extra glucose inside of your body. So if you're going to the bathroom a lot, your body's trying to excrete that blood sugar. So going to the bathroom more than normal is a warning sign that your body's trying to get rid of that waste. It's doing everything it can to dump that glucose out of your system. So if there's a lot of trips to the bathroom, whether it's in the middle of the night or during the day, you might want to consider cutting back on the added sugars to help those kidneys out. Number five, look at your skin. If you're dealing with a lot of dry skin, itchy skin, cracked skin, that is a major warning sign that you have added sugar diet problems. The damage from sugar going in your body is that it dehydrates you. You're super thirsty. Your body's trying to get rid of the sugar. It's going to the bathroom a lot. It damages your skin in the process. That's a fast track to a lot more infections and longer term skin damage. So if a very itchy scalp, cracking and damage on the hands and the nails, you probably have too much sugar in your body and you're not getting enough hydration. And number six, when you know it's time, those sugars gotta go is vision problems start showing up. And so the eyes require adequate hydration. And obviously when we're trying to balance all of the blood sugar in the body, we're going to the bathroom a lot more, that hydration is gonna be lacking inside the eyes. So it starts to create clear vision issues and the fluid level in the, in the eyes is not where it needs to be. So it gets harder to focus. There can be damage to the blood vessels. You can be damaged even to the nerves and it can lead to permanent vision loss if not addressed. So if you feel like I'm out of focus lately, my eyes are really dry, uh, I'm not being able to focus, I'm dealing with bloodshot eyes, it might be time that the added sugars really need to go. So I think the next great step is you don't have to be without sweetness in your life. You just need to start adding in sugar substitutes that are also not toxic. So to not rip this completely away from you and make you suffer through a sugar fast without any kind of sweetness for that sweet tooth, first step, let's go to the grocery store. Come with me. I'll walk you through the sugar aisle, show you the proper alternatives so you don't get chemical toxicity from them. And it doesn't have that big spiking glycemic spike because it's not putting fructose and glucose inside of your bloodstream. So come to the grocery store, check out this next video right here, and I'll show you around a really good next step to start dealing with sugar in your life so it doesn't have long-term effects.